A judge issued a gag order and a mental evaluation in Adesha Chambers' case. She's accused of killing four people and injuring 46 others when her car drove into a crowded OSU's homecoming parade. Casey Roebuck was in the courtroom and has details from Stillwater. It has been a busy day here at the Payne County Courthouse. It all started when Judge Catherine Thomas recused herself from the Chambers case, saying she personally knows one of the victims in this investigation. Judge Lewis Duell from Logan County is overseeing the proceedings now. He was here this afternoon and granted the DA's request to place a gag order on the case. That means no attorneys, witnesses, family members, or law enforcement officers are allowed to speak about this case or on the investigation. The judge says he wants this case to be tried in the courtroom, not the media. He also approved a request to transfer Adacia Chambers to a facility in Venita for a mental evaluation to see if she was competent to aid in her own defense. I spoke with her boyfriend, Jesse Gaylord, just minutes before the judge issued issued that gag order. I mean, going on, I mean, can't deny that it happens, even though it does still seem like a bad dream, but it happened and can't change that, so. Does it make any more sense to you now as it did two and a half weeks ago? Nope. Chambers' attorney has 15 days to respond to that gag order. Everyone is scheduled to be back here in court on December 10th. That should give doctors in Venita enough time to complete that psychological evaluation. Reporting from Stillwater, Casey Roebuck, two works for you.